they said. Take it for walks and feed them, they said. The feeding part I can understand because they eat like they haven't eaten in a week. It's funny because it is. I'm not, I'm not. But take them for a walk. More like these two are taking me for a walk. Jeez. Jeez, there you go. Stepping all over your sister's leash there. Come on, no, we're gonna go all the way. We're gonna go all the way to the road. Come on. Is when I initially take off for Kotakanak with my dad. And I'm gonna be vlogging the whole trip. If I'm not driving, I'm in the passenger seat vlogging. And if I'm not vlogging, it's because I'm in the driver's seat driving. And Kalispell is on the same route. We're going to be going there, too. Might stop in Kalispell and get some food before I drive home. Who knows? I've only been to Kalispell once or twice, but I wasn't driving. Should be pretty fun. Um, so, yeah. If you guys are new to this channel, you should definitely hit subscribe, because we're getting actually pretty close to 100 on this channel, too. Trying to get to 200 on country style videos. You guys aren't leaving suggestions. So I don't know what to post. You know? Like, what do y'all want to say? Anyway. It's about an hour later since I last updated y'all. And uh, I told you we were getting more rain. But I didn't expect it to be in the format of a thunderstorm. Still, rain's rain. And it hasn't been as dry and as hot as I thought it was going to be. This year we did not break 100. And if you don't know what that means, it means we didn't hit 100 degrees in the temperatures this year. The highest for the temperatures on a couple of days was an average of 98. So we were close, but we didn't hit 100, which is awesome. Also, the wildfire season hasn't been nearly as bad. We've had a couple of minor ones and a couple of... We had one big one that was around for maybe uh, two or three weeks and then a huge down uh, no we had a huge uh, cold front move in and dumped a bunch of rain and pretty much took care of it most of it whatever we didn't get hit by the rain the fire departments and volunteer firefighters handled later still it's been remarkably wet this year and cool which is nice compared to last year last year it got to 110 and we had fires. We had the smoke from California up here last year. And then we had California smoke from last year, too. And we also had Canada smoke when the cold fronts came out of the north. So, all in all, this has been a pretty good fire season. It hasn't been very bad this year. As you can hear, the roosters crow. I should probably, should probably should check on their feeders. Make sure they've got enough food before I'm gone for three days. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm kind of hoping that Summer is still setting on the on the eggs because if she is Means we might have a couple of new hatchlings. Hey Summer. You holding that all right? You guys aren't gonna be able to see her. Here we go. You holding out on us? Okay, Summer? Bird, 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 bird. Bird, 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 bird. <coughs> Hey, Summer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I won't bug you. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, turn my light off. Hi, buddy. Ooh, couldn't stand to refill those feeders while I'm at it. All right. Got done with that. Now they have enough grain to sustain them for like a couple of weeks now. Where, buddy? I don't want him going after my shoelaces because he figured out how to, yeah, this guy figured out not only how to kick, but he also figured out how to untie my shoes, which is why in half the time you see me wearing boots for my vlogs. Here, buddy. Boy. Have the vlog, buddy? This is Wraith, as you guys probably already know. Hi, buddy. You're an honorary little bugger sometimes, you know that, right? Like the phone. Yeah, that's you. That's the face of a moron. No, I'm not talking about me, you guys. You're mean. Yeah, this is the face of a moron. Look at you. You look ridiculous, bird. You're pathetic. You're a pathetic bird. He's missing a spur. I don't exactly know when he lost it, but I believe it may have been sometime back way before I started YouTube. But it was back way before I, I started the vlog channel. Hang on. 
yeah. So we've, I've had this guy since I was around 12 or 13, maybe. I don't really remember. It was back in the day. But um, about a couple of months after we got him, we had a weasel get into the coop. And he killed one of the birds. And this guy, this guy fought him off. Because he's missing a spur, which is basically one of his toes. But it's basically bone, so it's going to deliver a painful kick. Especially because it's sharp. And the other one. Look at that. Look at that other spur. That's a mean little that's a mean little big toe. Right, buddy? Yeah, you're a good rooster. Yeah, yeah, I know. You think it's funny to peck the finger. It doesn't hurt. It's just annoying. Okay, I take that back. It does hurt a little bit. It's like a pinch. But it's nothing that's gonna be like something to go to the hospital for. It's just like it's like uh it's like a pin prick or a Stubbed toe, basically. It's nothing new. And he's done this to me. Yeah, he's he's doing it to me right now. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> I can hear sandhill cranes in the distance. <sighs> I would not want to be standing underneath that thing right now, but sooner or later, that's gonna be that's gonna be us in like probably twenty to thirty minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna head inside before it starts dumping rain and the winds pick up. It uh, looks like the last, it might be the second to last or the final thunderstorm of the year before it starts getting cold and we start getting colder temperatures and then later on start getting some snow. Can't wait for that. We're like, no, I don't want snow. I want it to stay summer. Screw you guys. Summer sucks. The heat is too much for me to handle. You can't go anywhere without getting eaten by mosquitoes. It sucks. I like the winter. Because you don't got to worry so much about the bugs. <sighs> Not afraid of them. I'm just annoyed by them. Hang on. I'm going to turn my... There we go. Okay, guys. Um, it's currently uh, almost two in the morning now. And I just had probably one of the worst nightmares I've ever had. Like, I shot out of bed, and I'm pretty sure my head hit the ceiling. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm exhausted. Um... But it's currently Tuesday. It's almost two in the morning, and um, I'm trying to go back to sleep, but I just can't. I'm like awake, but like not awake. Like I'm afraid to go back to sleep because I'm afraid I might have that nightmare again. It's like one of those nights. Um. Okay, basically, what happened? was something out of Apocalypse CSV that series we're filming. I basically have the next scene idea now, but at the cost of... Yeah, I got another scene idea at the cost of, like, I don't know, an hour of sleep. Great. Made a zombie series and scared myself awake at one point. I'll never be able to live that down. Oh, uh, that's just a gun. I think it's raining outside right now. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, it's um it's raining right now. Who knows what the weather's going to be like in Kotakanuk and Kalispell. But we take off at around 3 o'clock this afternoon. We're going to be getting there tonight, though. I guess I won't be able to do much. But you guys will go with me today. And you're going to be stuck with me for these next three days. Starting today. Let's do this. Guys, so now it's later on in the day. It's actually afternoon. It's 2 o'clock. No, actually, no, it's 1.30, so it's just about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so basically about 12 hours later since you guys last saw me when I had that nightmare. It was terrifying. It was like, 
Basically, we were filming for Apocalypse CSV when we hear something that was not scripted or planned coming at us in the distance. And, like, right over that hill that you guys normally see with the overpass, um, this great big black thing with spikes coming out of its back and it's like six or seven green eyes is coming walking at us and is making this noise and it is horrifying and I just sh I just shot awake after about I don't know it was hard to keep track of time I don't know how long this went on for but we just stood there in horror and shock watching this thing come closer and when it got to about halfway down the driveway we took off running to the house and like the thing started charging at us and it was actually bigger than the house I don't know it was confusing it was kind of scary I shot out of bed awake just, ah! but it's over, and it didn't happen, that's a good thing. Right now I'm watching the dogs, and waiting for my dad to get home so that we can uh, start planning on getting ready to go to Quetakanuk Lake. Quetakanuk is the name of a lake named after the Native Americans. So yeah, it should be a lot of fun, I'm going to be gone for three days, and you guys are going with me. So today is day one, which is going to be the road trip. Hi, buddy. You guys going to miss me when I'm gone for three days? Yeah, you're going to miss me. These guys get hyper whenever the parents come home. Imagine how they're going to be when I come home. <laughs> right, Athena? Where are you going? Oh, okay. Good dog. Good dog. All right, so I will update you guys when I am in the car or getting ready to go. Right now, I'm actually looking for my um, car charger. Trying to see where that disappeared to because I'm going to be on the road. I need to have something to charge my phone with. Not there. Not there either. Definitely not there. So. Shoot, that's gone. All right. Well, that's all right. I have another one in the car. But we are getting ready to go to Polson is actually where we're going. But Quetakanuk is in Polson. So, correction. We're going to Polson, and then I'm going to Kalispell, and then going through Browning, and then straight to uh, Great Falls, and then back home. Let me just grab my cable real quick. Lock up the car, because I'm not going to be getting into there for like three or four days now. So it's good to have it locked. I've got my cable, and uh, I'll update you guys when we're on the road. Now we're in the car and getting ready to hit the road. There's the camper. Moved it myself. I'm actually kind of proud of that. This is actually the first time I've ever backed up a trailer on a single axle before. How come you dented it? Uh, that dent on the front? Yeah. That was there when I first moved it up here. That was from your previous owners. But I have a way to fix that. Hammer. Nope. The hammer's just going to make it worse. I'm going to take a piece of sheet metal, and I'm going to drill a couple of holes around the hole, and I'm going to put some rivets in it, and I'm going to put some caulk around the edge to keep you it put water. Your caulk in the hole? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> Probably edit that out of the video. So we had to make a stop at the gas station close by uh, first, because we were like at a quarter of a tank. Um, so we're getting fuel right now, and... I didn't realize we were staying at a resort. Oh yeah, um, so dad pulled up pretty close to the pump, uh, not close. Uh, I usually pull up like right next to it and he, he didn't pull up all the way next to it and I, I kept betting he's not close enough. Looks like he is. Clearly. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yep, we're going to go into the store too. I'm going to get some engine cleaner and the sea foam. Yep. Okay. Yeah, when I replaced the head gasket, Daniel was amazed at how clean my uh, fuel injectors were and how clean my engine was for everything else because I run those things through it. Nice. It's been about, what, 20, 20 minutes now? 
Um, we're now in Wolf Creek, uh, just down the road, and we're not on the highway anymore. We're taking one of the back roads up to Lincoln. And then, not on the interstate highway anyway. No, we're not on I-15 anymore. We're on... Uh, we're 454. 434. 434, okay. 434 heading west. Yeah, so let me just show you where we're at right now. See, we're on the purple route and it takes a green. Turn right on Montana 434. Exactly, it, takes, it tells us to take a right and the highway goes off to the left. That goes to Helena. We're going completely opposite of Helena. We're going up the state. Continue on Montana 434. Well, hey, I remember this road. The bus almost broke down one year going down this road to get to Missoula. Yep. So this is what the back road looks like. And since I'm going to be editing this on my phone, it's not going to be a musical yeah, montage that. like you're used to seeing, guys. Yeah, it's starting to rain. There's a house back here. It's pretty cool. Really? been what uh, how long has it been since we were in Wolf Creek like I don't know um, but we're now on Rogers Pass and apparently there's a historical point somewhere along this road which is awesome coldest spot in the nation in the lower 48 states really yep right here in this pass yep what's the temperature on record uh, for as long as a little uh, Sign. Pull out. Huh. I can probably just. I it was like 48 below zero or something like that. 52 below zero. Some insanely cold temperature. Wow, you would definitely be dead in that after moments of exposure. Yeah. Really freaking cold. I know I wouldn't want to have been there. Neither would I. If I had to, throw on my snow boots. These ones, because they're insulated and waterproof. I think that's just a pull off. Yeah, well, there's lots of pull offs along here. Well, yeah, they have to. Chain up. Well, yeah, they kind of have to. It's Rogers Pass, one of the more dangerous passes to go through in the winter. Not that dangerous. Well, it certainly is. If isn't. you're careful, it's not that dangerous. Right. If you're not careful and you decide to exceed the recommended speed limits or drive too fast for conditions, yeah. I had a... It's only as dangerous as you make it. I had a defendant. All right, so we just now passed through Lincoln, and now Dad's punching it. Punching it, yeah. Yep. Accelerating back to speed. Yep, getting it back up to the regular speed limit, which is 70. Huh, it's Keep up. Cool Creek. That's kind of cool. It's been about an hour since I last updated you guys. Uh, we're now in Bonner. No, that's not an inappropriate reference. No, the town was literally called Bonner. B-O-N-N-E-R. Um, On our right, we have the old wood plant. That used to be a wood plant? Yep, that was one of the huge lumber mills. That was the huge lumber mill, and this yard used to be filled to the brim with timber. Wow. Running full board, they probably employed 400, 500 people at this mill, and you can still see remnants of the logs and logging that was going on here back in the day. Oh yeah, like right there. Yeah, look at those those piles of logs were everywhere here for for years, and now all that lumber is sitting, going nowhere because. Of tariffs in China with China and uh, Canada with NAFTA. So now we're in Milltown. Now we're in Milltown. Milltown and Bonner are literally right next door to each other. Yep. Bonner was where the mill was and Milltown's where everybody lived that worked for the mill. Sort of like Virginia City and Montana City. Yep. Another thing, but keep in mind Virginia keep City and Montana right. City. Keep right to that's ghost towns, basically. An abandoned mining town where they would look for gold. And here's the bridge to go tubing. Wow. All well, in all, this has been a fun road trip. So far. 
Hey, isn't that the gas station we stopped by? Wait, no, no, that's it's my small. I'm taking another one when we went to Fairmont. I meant to make a vlog of that before, but I was too busy focusing on the road and it was too dark to make a vlog of anything. Plus, I was just tired and I was taking a break from YouTube during that time. Um, next time we go to Fairmont, though, I might make a vlog about that. Hmm? Oh, speaking of which, Butte's on the way. No, just this way, yeah, and then you take a right and it's Missoula, I take a left and it's Butte. Right. The way that I went to to get the Fairmont was through Helena to get yep. the Butte. Didn't take the longer back roads. Whoa. Ah, somebody didn't tighten their cables all the way. Alright, so now we're at the um we're at the Y, just outside of Missoula, about three or four miles down the road. Yep, we're just about there. We got about 60 more miles to go before we're at Quetakanek at the resort. So we're almost there, guys. Should be pretty fun. By the looks of, we're in the Saint Ignatius area. We're on the we're on one of the reservations. Kootenay Salish, you said. Salish Kootenai tribe. We're in the Salish Kootenai Reservation. We have about 30 miles left to cover before we're at the Wachakunek Resort. Saint Ignatius Mission is down there. Oh, I see it. It's Look at that. Famous mission. Yeah. It's beautiful on the inside. Very pretty. <sighs> no yawning. Oh <laughs> yeah, I forgot they're contagious. Yeah, I'm going to be taking a lot of photographs while I'm here too, so you guys are going to see a slideshow of that at the end. They're going to be like two seconds each, so if you want to take a longer look at them, just hit the pause button, I guess. But all in all, the sites up here have been pretty, pretty awesome to look at. Look at that, you got a white snow-capped mountain up on the top of this whole ridge. It's only September 10th. Yeah, it's only September and we've already got snow up there in the mountain. Oh yeah, I heard about that up in Glacier. Up at the cabin. Really? Yep. Shoot, I would've... I didn't want to be up there. Why? Because it was miserable. What's the worst that could happen? the Quetaknuk Resort and Casino, as y'all can see, and we're walking up to it right now. I'm actually really excited to be here. I've never been up this far for more than a few days. Should be pretty fun. So we're at the resort now. This is Flathead Lake, and it stretches for farther than the eye can see. I can see mountains way on the other side, so it's not an ocean, but it's it's pretty good size. And given today's temperature, which is like 63, 64, maybe even 65, I'm betting that water is close to freezing, like in the 30s or 40s. But again, it makes sense because this water is this water is results of glacier runoff. But still, the view is amazing. You want to kind of check the water out? Heck yeah. All right, now we're going to go take a look around, get a better view of the lake and see what's up. See where this conference is being held tomorrow too. All in all, this is going to be pretty fun, I hope. See. Yeah. So far, we have a great view of the lake. Yeah, it's a really beautiful view. You get to view the mountains and the waters. It's awesome. All right, so all in all, this view has been pretty good. Ooh, outside. Ooh, you can step outside and take a look. Okay, I'm glad I have my windscreen enabled on my phone. Oh, look, they even have signs that say no swimming. Or worse.
That would be convenient to know. Oh, careful, looks like the, this area is a little bit wet. That kind of reminds me of when we went to California. Yeah, what amazing out here. Look, they even have a fueling station for the boats. You just moor the boat up to it with fuel. They're charging 475 a gallon. Plus it's boats, so it only makes sense. They're using a lot more gas. Really? Yeah, let me turn this around so y'all can see this. So the wind is actually what's causing the waves to be so big and causing the waters to be a little rough. But that doesn't that doesn't change how this looks, which is pretty much awesome. It's a little bit of a breeze. Yeah. Nothing. The wind song. Yeah. The wind's out of the north. Yeah. yeah. Feels just about that time. Read the magazine and quit vlogging for a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna put the vlog down for a couple of minutes and look around and see what kind of things we can see before we call it a night. So yeah, I'll be back in a few. All right, guys, it's a bit later in the evening. The um, the wind is still kind of blowing out here, as you can hear by the water. Um, but it's close to like 9 p.m. now. So, yeah, we're in Polson. We're at the Kwatakanuk Resort and Casino. I'm not going to be gambling, but I am going to be spending some time in Polson for the next couple of days, seeing the sights and enjoying the view of the lake. Unfortunately, I cannot go swimming or fishing because it is too close to the docks and there's too much undertow potentially, as well as the fact that it's a boat dock. I don't want to get hit by a boat, run over by a boat. So but that is it for today's vlog. Be sure to stay tuned tomorrow where I go and tour around Polson and see what's up. As well as the sunset tour. There's actually a tour boat over there. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's way over there in the distance. Um, it's poorly lit, so you probably won't be able to see it. But you guys will be seeing that tomorrow, later in tomorrow's vlog. But that is it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow. Peace out, y'all.